What's up guys, back there 077. I have a good I have a good sound around on speaker system for you guys to hear. Oh good price. So what I think I'm gonna get ready for guys. So I'll show you my car we'll start off. So I have some good decent decent setups. YouTube I have mixed map. So I got two I got two um, for I got two um two A V receivers. One for seventy nine, one for two hundred. And these are both from Yamaha Yamaha. And they're both from the RX series. And they're both V. This is the cheaper one that's two hundred dollars is V three V three seven five five point one surround sound. And the other one is V six seven three seven point two surround sound. This one is a network channel A V receiver. This one is a 3D that's AV home receiver. Let me just show you the first one, the cheapest one. Good price. They both look the same. So let me just show you some pictures. Close ups on those. So this is what the full package comes with, your receiver. Your remote and your this thing over here is a microphone next to the receiver and that's what it does it makes it tells you what place to put your speakers in so this is in, it listens and then it tells you what place to put your speakers in a nice feature to it I wonder if they have like a, a chart no it just has a Yamaha thing so five five channel per surround sound Discrete amp configuration, HD audio, 192 kHz, 24-bit, run around DCs for all channels, high dynamic power, low jitter circuit. So this has 3D and HDMI C for configuration, Yakbo sound optimization, and practically, yeah, this is sound realism. So you can de it can detect where you want to put your speakers, where you put your speakers. It's pretty nice. So these these are pretty decent speakers. This is a pretty decent A A V receiver. And for the price is just perfect, honestly. If you want a five five point one surround sound, this A V receiver is perfect. So the next one I'm gonna show you is so I don't actually is the remote looks different but practically same package. You just get show you some pictures. Package here, remote silver. Remote silver as you can see. Got the full package over here. Got the mount for this. Look at the back. This one actually has one, two, three, four, five. I think they have the same ports. So what I really like about these Yamaha maybe receivers is that I'm talking about, I can plug my Xbox into this one, my Xbox One into this one, my Apple TV into that one, my PS3 into that one, my PS4 into that one, and I'll have all four slots. And then all I need to do is just connect this to my TV, and I'm done. That's simple. Right, this one this is 7.2 surround sound. So I do have two subs. So if you really want to get full bass, I got to put in two subs. I'm a bass freak. I love bass, man. It's like the number one thing for me. So I'm a bass freak, but I don't know about you guys. You guys don't freaky like bass. Do you want to go? Is it just better again? But this is just a little more expensive for better quality. So this has two more channels. Four more channels. So this is pretty good. Network receiver, controller app, Air 7.2 channel, Air Apple AirPlay, HD audio, 4K, 3D, iPad, YPay, sound optimization, same thing in the other one, Equal operation, 4K, 3D2, high HDMI, network functions. So you can go around your, your receiver, PC, your NAS, your router. To your phone, your app controller, AirPlay, Yapo, you have your front ports, intelligent app design, it's pretty decent, pretty nice. Video aux, so that's where your camcorder digital camera. And you have HDMI C for each operation. I think I showed you about how you can uh <coughs> how you can uh so, uh, 
as you can see that I told you about the HDMI thing, just makes like one to your TV. Really good for sound. Now, ooh, this is perfect. Perfect. I found the chart for you. Which which Yamaha series uh, are XRV series are for you? So, the, one, the, one, the two ones we have here for today are this one and the V73 over here and the and the V6 the V63 the one we have here if I'm correct uh, let me just make sure yeah 6713 series look at the chart this one has an ID by 7 watts so that's 7 watts that have an ID channel 7 channels that have 90 watts this we have surround sound this has loose iPod iPod, they both have it. IPod, iPhone and iPod. This one's made for iPad. iPhone and iPod. HDMI input front. Six. This has this has six. This one has four. Four K. Four K. Two K pass through. Pass through. Number scale. This is just pass through. Panel height. One thirty. One fifty. So this is a bit chubbier. Color. On screen display. Both have it. Graphics. User interface. They don't have it. Y P. PO setup, speaker setup, they have it, plus R, this one, but the one that we're talking about now, on this side has plus R, yes, multi-zone, zone 2, line out, SP, Wi-Fi, smartphone connector, all of those good stuff. So those are the two I picked for this build, yeah, for this, um, practically this setup. If you guys want to, like, mix and match, your choice, honestly, this is perfect for, if you, just for your build. If you're going on a budget, I would take the other Yamaha. So let me show you what else I have in the cart. So the speakers actually, you wouldn't be surprised by the speakers I picked out. So uh, the Boston, I picked two speakers out, Yamaha's and Boston Acoustics. Honestly, Boston Acoustics are perfect. So for the Boston, the Boston, the Boston Acoustics sound will wear X, S5, 1B, 5.1 surround sound speakers, blacks, including sub. So, and then, and you can actually buy extra ones for 69 bucks. And for the other series, I put the uh, um, uh, Yamaha NS SP 1800BL 5 months around sound. Perfect thing, perfect for the budget build, for the budget setup. So let's get into them. Let's open up the Boston Acoustics. Boston Acoustics are nice. So this is the main setup here. If you guys can see that, I'm zooming in on it. You see two speakers on the side, right here. I, I I'm trying to point to them, but you can't can't see it. But if you look right here, where I'm shining at, those two speakers over here. There are three more over here. They have your big sub in the middle. So these are behind the speakers look like so these are easily mountable. In case you want to mount them. Those speakers look like by themselves. So I'm gonna scroll down and check for some stacks. So DS5.1 speakers ha delivers high performance audio. Bass track provides powerful bass without torsion. It includes providing mounts for converting for, for converting co positions, so that means convenient positions. So this means it comes with mounts in case you want to mount it onto the wall. So that's a good thing. Doing some mounts, side light speakers, side light speakers. This is a really good product. I really recommend these Boston Acoustic. But if you're going with that other monitor, that's seven. That's seven. That's seven. Seven point. Um, what is it? Seven point two. I got one of these. I recommend the Boston Acoustics, and then get two more of these Boston Acoustics, and maybe another sub. I don't know your choice of the sub, but that makes your build about, let's see, 70, 70, 40. 5 So it would be at the end. 810 to 300, $810 for the Boston Acoustics, the receiver, and the two extra Boston Acoustics. So for, that's $800, man, so that's pretty pricey. Now for my second build, it comes with the Yamaha receiver. I want to talk about the $200 one. And then it comes with the Yamaha speakers. And this takes up all the five spots. But I'll feel free in the future to actually exchange the speakers, get a receiver you want to know. Wow, but these are excellent speakers. We just want to start off with Start of a budget. They're a little bit small, but they make a, make a punch. So these are the speakers. So you can see those two small, four small speakers. Uh, middle channel speaker, what's up? 
that's pretty nice. Let's check the specs. So, 4 channel, 5 and 1 channel, 5 package, advanced YST, manually shielded. So, if you actually like a lot of base, I'm not saying you have to get another base a subwoofer, but if you like a lot of base, honestly, if you like a lot of base, I prefer. I would get a. I'd get a subwoofer. Subwoofers. So. I go. I go subwoofers on Amazon. Look at this. Or this Yamaha. You could just get another Yamaha. My nine bucks, man. That's pretty good. So that comes up to about. That bill comes up to about for the second one. So that's two hundred dollars. That's two hundred and twenty dollars. Three hundred and twenty dollars. Comparing to that for two subs on this build, I think that's really good for two hundred three hundred and thirty dollars. So those are all like what I picked up so far, but I'll try some audio stuff. Uh, let's go to AV receivers. I'll make a oh this is like my first this is like I'll show you I'll show you some other ones too. Hold on. It's an okay. See, okay has really good ones. 3D enabled. So what you're looking for out there? So this is perfect. I'm gonna put this in the cart. Tell you guys a little more about it. Show you what it can do and all of that stuff. So so oh, there are stuff called banana plugs. Just because you might want to get those. Let's see if I can find anything else for anything else. Five hundred dollars. Oh, that's a pioneer. It's nice. It's nice. Pioneer has some good ones. But we're not looking for pioneer. We're looking for more Okio. That's for the speakers, man. So if you look at this, it brings up a uh, home theater speaker system, and you can see it comes up with some decent stuff. Snaps on it. They have some combos there. Let's just see if we can find any speakers. Honestly, just want to see what I care about. If we see any speakers, we'll hook them up, you know. That's just strong type of speakers. Because we don't want to go searching forever. Oh dear speakers, not that hard. There we go, we have our for our dear speakers, you know. But you can see, we have some different stuff here. Walking just for speakers by themselves for a good price. Two good sets, a good pair for a good price, and then a decent pair for a decent price. So let's see if we find it, if I find anything, pop it in there. Dang, son. Looking for something not in, not expensive. Just get speakers. So this is actually doesn't look kind of like you want to go all onky on this bad boy set. This is a seven. This is seven point one channel. Round sound kit. So I will put this in for the 7.1, but this is a really nice round sound kit when you're talking surround sound. Okio has it, they've done it, they're doing it again. They just have it, honestly. They're just getting there, they know their stuff. They know their stuff really well. Okio just know their stuff. Let's see if we can find some more speakers for a cheaper price. Hmm. So far, I can't find anything for a cheaper price. Not even close. This looks cheap, but it doesn't come with a sub. That's just my. I see no sub. Not worth my time. I just have to get one sub in there. I 
does it even make sense? Sorry to speak good. Hopefully we have some good stuff. So we can make up in this. Okay, I think we can make up something pretty decent. Pretty. So I'm looking for stuff for Polk Audio. Can't see anything right now. Stuff is pretty expensive. What expect? Good why you expect a lot of cash. So let's try. Let's try to speeches. My have some cheaper ones. This is for insulin speakers. I'm going to stop here, guys. I don't want to go any farther. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. And I'll be back again. See you guys.